Hello, my most delicious little gummy bears. How are you today? I'm not talking about any color gummy bear either. I'm talking about that cherry red gummy bear. Mm -mm -mm. Just delicious. So anyway, we're going to do just a quick video today because I am still working on orders from the auction and from Etsy. Um, all my Etsy orders are caught up and some of the auction stuff has gone out. I have to, re I resin all my paintings and I always put a coat on right when it's done, but then when I sell it, I do the top coat and uh, that's just so I don't waste resin. If I never sell this piece, I don't want to waste resin for it to sit in a closet, right? Sit in a closet all wrapped up. So I do one coat and then when it sells, I'll do the top coat. But anyway, that's going fantastic. And I'm hoping to be done by the end of this week, if you ordered from me. Now I'm going to pause you for a second while I fix this canvas. So a lot of the people have been asking about these little rounds that I'm working on. Um, this is one that I scraped, obviously. I didn't, just didn't like the outcome, but... I bought them at my local Blick store. They were really expensive. They were $15 for a little tiny 8-inch round. So I have reached out to the company, and I'm trying to see if we can get a coupon code, um, which would be great. So what I want to do today is a green bloom, all green with the interference powders again that I've been using. I absolutely love them. This here is Pebeo's Iridescent Green Yellow. And this here is Golden's Fluorescent Green. I have the iridescent colors here by Color Art. They are the Blingit iridescent colors. I have four of those mixed up. I didn't do the gold because I have gold in the green. And um, let's see what else can I tell you. Now, you don't have to use all these different brands. You can use all primary elements with the interferences. I just happen to like mixing brands. I think the chemistry works good that way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plop on my colors, and I will tell you really quickly what I mix them with, but... I also want to say that I'm going to put the complete recipe of what I used in the description. So the colors, I mixed three parts of the Vivid Enamel sold by Color Art and one part, I'm sorry, two parts of Polycrylic. I wanted them to be a little runnier. Now, when it comes to consistency, and I talk about this all the time, the consistency is very, very important. You can have these really, really thick as long as they are all thick, or you can have them all really thin as long as they're all really thin. You have to make sure that they match. So when I do a three part recipe with uh, the enamel and two parts of the polycrylic. They're just a little thin, thinner, easier for me to blow. But I will get the same outcome if I do three parts vivid enamel to one part uh, polycrylic. I'll get the same exact outcome. So the consistency is what matters. Just make them all the same. So what I would do is decide do you want them to be a little bit easier to blow? Do the three parts of Vivid Enamel or your untinted paint base, whichever one you're using, and then add two parts of the polycrylic, therefore thinning it out a lot. Um, if you want it to be a little thicker, then you just do one part polycrylic. Mix up your colors first. Make sure they are all the same consistency. If they are not, add a few drops of either the polycrylic 
until you get it to the same consistency or you can add some water in there. Then pour your pillow paint, the white paint, the, the one you put on the canvas into a cup and feel the consistency of that. If that feels very thick compared to your colors, thin it out with a little bit of water. It doesn't take much. I thinned my pillow paint out. There was 10 ounces of paint in the cup, which I obviously didn't use here, so I have some left over. But for 10 ounces, I used two ounces of water. So it's not a lot. It's just enough so that it matched the consistency of these colors. And the other reason why that's important is because when you go to tilt, if this paint is thicker than the colors, the colors are going to slide faster than the paint underneath and it's going to roll over each other. And so you can tilt, this will go off the canvas while the white is still back here, not moving. As for cracking, I'm just trying to answer a couple of questions that I've been getting a lot of. As for cracking, that is a consistency issue. Either one or the other is thicker than the other, meaning either your pillow paint, the white paint you put down first, is thicker than your colors. And what's happening is your colors are drying first, the white paint is drying last, and as it's drying, these are already dried, so they start to crack open. If you're tilting and you lose your cells, it's how you're tilting. It takes a lot of practice. I failed at this at least 30 to 45 times before I got a halfway decent one. So don't get discouraged. You know, just keep practicing. If you're blowing and you're getting cells and then you're disappearing before you even tilt, you're using too much polycrylic. Now this here is American Floetrol in carbon black paint from Golden. The heavy body carbon black paint. And how I make my cell activator is I put a tablespoon or so of paint in the cup first and I slowly add my flow trial to it until I get to the nice consistency that I like. Now my cell activator sometimes is a little bit thinner than other people's but it's fine. I don't care if it sinks under. As a matter of fact I feel like it works better when it sinks under the colors because when you blow it then forces its way back up through all the colors making more cells. So I'm going to zoom you in. I'm going to torch really quick. Just really quick because house paint burns fast. You don't want to stay on it too long. And now I'm going to start blowing. You can see the cells coming right away. Like crazy, right? Like crazy. Beauteous. Lots of blowing to be done there. Woo! 
feel like I just got off of one of those fast spinny rides. <laughs> now I'm going to take my straw and blow directly down into where the black is to help those cells pop up through the black. I don't know if you can see that. Alrighty. I am oh my god, I cannot wait to show you guys this. I'm gonna pause it for a second to let the colors come back up. Let me see if I can show them to you now. You'll see them when I go in the op opposite direction the most, the iridescent colors. You can see them right there, lighting up a little bit. All right, here we go. Ready? So once that goes under resin, it will be fantastic even without the resonance it's fantastic i mean come on look at that all right let's get to stretching shall we all righty here we go so if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, would you please consider subscribing and clicking the little notification bell so that when I release another video, you will know. And you gotta be very careful when you're stretching. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're interested in these interference colors or any other color art product, I have a 20% coupon code down below with no minimum purchase required. So if you order something for, for 10 bucks, you get 20% off. Doesn't matter. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wowie, that was gorgeous when I flipped it backwards. And I am going to leave that right there. That is absolutely beauteous. I just got to put a little paint over here. Now that's a keeper. Um, all my social media links are below. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, my Facebook art group, United We Pour is listed below. Come join us. Show me your artwork. I have PayPal links. I have Etsy link, um, for my art. Oh, and speaking of, if you're interested in any of the art you see me creating, please email me artbytammy at yahoo.com or check out my Etsy shop to see if it's in there. Do not leave a comment below because I'm way behind on my comments and I'm going to be caught up on them by the end of the week. But if there's something you want and I don't see your message, then somebody else buys it in the meantime. So I've had that happen twice this week. This here, I just, I am in love with this. Now I'm going to show you a close up of it stretched out and I'm going to let you go. I shut the lights off only when I use interference just so you could see them good. So remember it's like a color shift so you don't see it much going this way right? But when we come back this way it's just Too beautiful. So 
So we'll come up this way. And then back this way. Now look at this area here. <gasps> Look at that sexiness. Now that's what I call sexy. <laughs> I am very easy to please. All right, guys. I love you all so much. Thank you for tuning in. And until tomorrow, happy pouring.